Hello, this is Sai, and this is Laning102. Today, I'll be more focused upon melee versus range. So, here we have Pebbles, and it's Pebbles versus Valk. And obviously, Pebbles hits a lot harder than Valk. But, what is... Wait, did you guys see that? You see that? Here, let me rewind it so you guys can see it again. Basically, I'm Pebbles, and I'm going in for a last hit. I've obviously hit way harder than Valk, but what does Valk do? He hits it just enough so I can't get the hit. Obviously it's not a deny, but when you don't hit as hard as your opponent, sometimes that's all you can do is deny him gold. So we'll call that a gold deny. Some people, I'm sure a lot of you out there have done this on accident, but actually try to do this when out denying your opponent is not an option. Add this to your awesome repertoire, so now we have last hitting, we have denying, and we have gold denying. Do what you can. So right now, I'm getting my ass harassed to shit by Valkyrie, which is what he's supposed to do, but he's scared to take damage. Like, look at his health. It's, it's almost full. Like, he's doing a decent job, but he's too worried about getting money. Right now, he should be going balls to the walls, harassing the shit out of me. Because, think about it. What what makes Pebbles scary? Pebbles scary as shit when he can combo you, right? That's that's what everyone's afraid of. But really, I'm level two right now. I don't even have enough mana to combo. I mean, once I hit level four, then yeah, I will have enough mana. Two forty is the magic number for Pebbles to do his combo. But until I have enough mana combo, the Hulk should just be going crazy. He it doesn't even matter. He he wants me to stun him. If I stun Valkyrie then I'm at a disadvantage because when I do hit level 4, I won't have enough mana. And I don't have any mana pots on me either. This is the key mistake that a lot of players make when they're scared of strength hero mids. Is that they don't harass enough. You have a small window, an opportunity to harass the shit out of them before they hit the level where they can rape you. You have to abuse that timing window. If you don't, then you're gonna lose the lane. He's Right now, Valkyrie is too worried about farming. He needs to get me out of the lane. Alright? Nice and easy. Alright, so back on topic. So, when you're melee, you just, you just have to man up and take the damage. You know, obviously knowing exactly how much damage your opponent can, you know, output is a huge plus, but it's Valkyrie, you know? It, unless he hits an arrow on me, I'm perfectly fine with this amount of HP. So just walk in, take, get the last hit and run out. Don't be afraid to take some auto attacks, you know? As long as your health isn't below zero, you're perfectly fine. So now I just acquired my bottle, which means Valkyrie's in deep shit. <laughs> which means I can combo more than once. I can do a full combo, which would deplete all my mana, and just drink all the way back up so I can combo again. But this, remember, this is a laning video. So this is for all intents and purposes, we agreed to not get any runes, alright, which which kind of sucks for me because Pebble is kind of a rune whore, that's how, you know, that's how you win as Pebbles. So if my bottle's done, then that means, right, I can't do shit, <laughs> just take a beating from Falk. So let's fast forward to something a little bit more interesting, as interesting as it is to watch me farm for 30 seconds. I kind of decided to man up, but it's more of a harass than manning up. So why did I decide to stun right here? Simple, because I saw Valkyrie cast her spell. And for her to cast her spell, she has to stand still, which makes it that I have a much higher percent to land my stun than if I just stunned randomly, right? And I got arrowed, yeah, yeah, yeah. But mainly, when I saw the call of the Valkyrie, that's Valkyrie's main nuke, which does her biggest nuke. And I know I can take that damage, no problem. So right when I see it, I throw my stun out, knowing that I have probably 95% chance to hit, because, you know, you can't run and cast, right? That little manning up I did cost me all my mana, which makes me drink my whole bottle, which reloads my mana, basically, for another combo. And here I go again. Oh, that would have been just enough to kill her, except Valka has leap, which is... And one of the most annoying moves in the game, right? Leap lets you get away from everything. But now we know what we need to do. We have to basically combo Valkyrie when her leap is down. And so right now, I'm screwed. The no rune rule. <laughs> I have an empty bottle and I have basically 20% HP. And which means I can't farm. 
which means Valk can free farm. So I have to make a decision here, which is pretend you're Valk. This is what you want. You want to be in this position. I mean, if you can kill him, great, but if he's at low HP, you get a free farm and he can't do shit. So he has to either choose to run all the way back to Fountain, which is what I'm doing right now, because, you know, no ruin rule or whatever, so I'm honoring that stupid agreement. And while I'm here, I'm losing experience, I'm losing gold, and I'm losing levels, basically. And, of course, always TP back. Always. If you have the money, TP back. If you have, if you start with minor totems, which I believe almost every single starting buy should have minor totems. If you can sell a minor totem, and that'll get you the money to TP back, do it. Because it'll save you time, and time is money in this game. As well as experience. Alright, so I'm back with a full bottle, full everything, and I'm back to farming. And where does Valk go? Just, just, just watch. Valk basically said, "Fuck our agreement." And he's gonna go get a rune. Just, just remember this. Re remember this, cause, cause I fucking remembered. Runes basically make it so he doesn't have to go back to the fountain. I mean, going out of your way to get a rune, you do lose a little bit of t experience and gold, but it's nothing compared to running all the way back to base. And even if you TP back, getting a rune is way less time. Oh. You see that? You see her running around, her bitch ass with haste? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. This this video's gonna go a li on a little bit longer than normal, cause cause I'm pissed about that. I'm pissed about this. So, so deal with me. Let's speed this up a little bit to get to something more interesting. So, what makes Valkyrie so damn annoying? Like unkillable. It's that stupid leap, right? So here I'll show you an interesting technique. You know, you just have to be scary. And this can be done with fake casting or you know, as far as pebbles go, it's just being close to pebbles is scary as shit, right? So here we go. I scared the shit out of him just being next to him, right? And I baited that leap out. What does that mean? His leap is on cooldown. He doesn't have that getaway move anymore. So now this is when you know since it's on cooldown, I'm looking for opportunity. You see I'm a little bit more aggressive than normal. He knows it, but if he messes up, he's in trouble. Seriously. Let's wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my god, rape the bitch! Oh, put her in the ground, holy shit! But then some of you are like, But Sire, you didn't kill her! Why didn't you kill her? Well, look at my bottle, it was full. Now I have another combo. And what happens when Sire has another combo? I mean, Sire's gonna rape a bitch. See, she's not full HP. If, so, if she's not full HP, she's gonna get fucking raped, like right here, goddamn bitch. And that's how you win a lane, alright? So you guys remember that rune business, you know, earlier, with the Valkyrie with the haste? Oh, Saya doesn't forget. Saya remembers. Saya finds invisibility, and Saya's talking about himself in the third person like a fucking weirdo. But it feels so good! This this feels better than the first kill. Ah, oh, so sexy. And of course, usually when you get a kill, obviously you get lots more experience in them, and they lose lots of time. Which basically means you just snowball from there and go on to tearing up and raping the rest of the game. Just remember, once you're ahead, press your advantage. You know, gank if you have the levels. Get items if you have the levels that help a lot. If you're ahead and you're like five levels above everyone else, don't go and buy stupid defensive shit like Helm of the Black Legion. You got fucking HP passively for that shit. Just fucking go rape them. Buy it offensive shit. Make you hit harder. Make you faster. More mobility. More damage. Just make your lead bigger. Alright? If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Because laning 103 should be coming out shortly. This is Sai. Thanks for watching. I am out.